A memorial service was held today for a Polish woman who came to London before the Second World War and later became a special agent in enemy territory. Christina Scarbeck's wartime exploits made her famous, but she was later killed by an obsessive fan and buried in Kensal Green. With more details, here's Nick Thatcher. Her story of wartime service is the stuff of James Bond novels. For not only was Christina Scarbeck Britain's first female special agent, she was also one of our most daring. Today, they came to pay tribute to a Polish woman who'd spied for the Allies, stealing secrets, evading capture, and displaying remarkable courage. There was the time that she skied into occupied Poland over snow-covered mountains in the depths of winter to return with secrets tucked into her leather gloves. And then when captured in Hungary, she persuaded her interrogators to let her go after feigning tuberculosis by biting her tongue so hard that it bled. She was said to be Churchill's favorite spy and would use her charm and persuasiveness to mesmerize men. An author, Claire Mully, told me her resourcefulness was put to the test when she was discovered by a German guard dog. She's hiding in some bushes beside the road and the dog sniffs her out and finds her, but he's quite a way ahead from the patrol. So she just, she just reached out her hand and gave it a cuddle. And she was using goose fat to stop her shoes from rubbing on her ankles. So she, she put a bit of the fat on her hands and leant forward and the dog licked her hand and they made friends. And the dog didn't portray her position. And in fact, that dog stayed with the French resistance for the rest of the war. So she was, she was just amazing. The treasury has agreed to stake you in the game. It's even claimed in Fleming in his first James Bond novel, Casino Royale based the character Vesper Lind on Christina. And now many believe her own story should be turned into a film. After surviving her wartime exploits against all the odds, Christina's life would be tragically cut short when she was stabbed to death in a West London hotel seven years later. But with her grave now restored, her story lives on, and there are many who will never forget her extraordinary life. Nick Thatcher, ITV News, Kensal Green. Amazing story. And finally